Okay, in this video we're going to use Euler's theorem to simplify a number to a power modulo n. So let's just recall phi of n is the number of positive integers between 1 and n that are relatively prime to n. And then if the GCD of a and n is 1, then a to the phi of n is, equal, is congruent to 1 mod n. So here's what we want to look at. We want to look at 23 to the 130 um, is congruent to something mod 25. So the first thing that we need to calculate is what is phi of 25. So phi of 25 is, so we could do this a couple of different ways. You could, we could use this using the power of a prime um, formula for Euler's theorem, or we could use it, uh, um, the standard formula for Euler's theorem. Um, let's use the power of the prime formula. So it'll be the power of the prime that we have minus one less power of that prime. So it would be 5 squared minus 5 to the 1. In other words, 25 minus 5, which is 20. So that is phi of 20. Now notice we have 130, which is not a multiple of 20. So we need to use the division algorithm, and that's what we will do. So we'll use division algorithm with 130 and 20. And this is the general strategy. Like if you're trying to reduce a power of something uh, modulo n, um, you probably want to use the division algorithm with that exponent and whatever phi of n is. So in this case, it's not so hard to see um, how we would write this via the division algorithm. So we have 130 equals 20 times 6 plus 10. So we have a quotient of 6 and a remainder of 10. Now we'll use exponent rules in order to um, write 23 to the 130 in terms of these. So here we have 23 to the 130 can now be written as 23 to the 20 all to the 6 power times 23 to the 10. Great. So again, we used exponent rules here. Now we know 23 to the 20 is congruent to 1 mod 25 by Euler's theorem. So all of this is just 1 mod 25 by Euler's theorem. So that leaves us with this is congruent to 23 to the 10 mod 25. <clears throat> Now this may seem like it's still quite a difficult problem to solve, but we can actually use a trick here, and that is that 23 and negative 2 are congruent modulo 25. So instead of looking at 23 to the 10, let's look at negative 2 to the 10 mod 25. But now since we have negative 2 to the 10 and 10 is an even number, we in fact really just need to look at 2 to the 10 mod 25. So here we'll look at 2 to the 10 mod 25. Great, and now from here we can go and calculate some powers of 2 mod 25 and see if we get a simplification. So let's see, we have 2 to the 1 is 2 mod 25. So here's a bit of scratch work. So all of this over here to the right of this line is scratch work. And then uh, 2 squared is, six, is 4 mod 25. And then 2 to the 4 is 16 mod 25. Oh, and then we notice that 2 to the 5 is equal to 32. But 32 is equal to 2 mod, uh, sorry, is equal to 7 mod 25. So since 2 to the 5 is congruent to 7 mod 25, that tells us that 2 to the 10 is the same thing as 49 mod 25. So 2 to the 10 is congruent to 49 mod 25. 25. But now 49 is negative 1 mod 25 because it's 1 less than 50, but that is the same thing as 24 mod 25. 
So now we can put that right here in our solution. So up here maybe. So this is 24 mod 25, and that's our final answer.